Hello my friends, welcome back to another What I Ate Today video. I'm gonna show you everything I ate in a day. Starting from my first meal of the day, my breakfast. So I had 17 small baby Thai bananas frozen with some frozen strawberries and some frozen mango chunks. I started off by adding half of the frozen baby Thai bananas along with the frozen mango chunks into my Vitamix blender and I blended that up smooth. I then added that into my serving bowl. Once that portion was added to the bowl, I added it into the freezer to keep cold. Then for the next portion, I added in the other half of the frozen baby Thai bananas along with the frozen strawberries and then I blended that up smooth. I took my serving bowl with the frozen mango and ice cream out of the freezer, then I added to the side of it the frozen strawberry. My favorite way of eating banana ice cream lately has been with the two different flavors in one serving in one go. It's so nice to have two different flavors to satisfy your craving. I've been loving the papaya, mango, pineapple, uh, strawberry, blackberry, mulberry, all blended up into a nice cream. Okay, so once I smoothed out my banana ice cream bowl, I added over my toppings. So I have some frozen strawberries and then some frozen mango chunks. I just took from the beginning bits that I showed you in the beginning clip, and I just kept a couple bits aside to be able to top my ice cream bowl with. And there you have it, the final result. I absolutely adore these frozen baby Thai bananas because they're so, so thick and creamy, much more dense than the regular Cavendish banana. Moving on to lunch, I was ready for something crispy and light and sweet. So I wasn't that hungry because those bananas are so calorically dense and very filling for the day. I usually have like a light type lunch or more like a big snack. So I had these six apples chopped up. I just kept it really simple. I was working and this was perfect to tie me over until dinner. Moving on to dinner. I started off by adding my chopped pumpkin into the oven at uh, 225 degrees Celsius for close to 40 minutes. I then added all of my chopped veggies into my saucepan to steam with some water. I've got broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, red pepper, carrot, pumpkin, cabbage, and mixed mushrooms. And then I just close the lid and let it steam for about 20 to 25 minutes. For my part one of dinner, I really wanted to dig into these medjool dates we had just gotten from the market. So I basically just dug right in there, picked out the ones that I wanted, pulled out the pits, and added it into my tiny little coconut bowl. Medjool dates are probably one of my favorite, favorite type of dates. I like how big they are, I like the flavor, the texture. These ones weren't as juicy as the ones we normally get in the West, but nevertheless, still amazing. Once my veggies were fully cooked, I add them on top of my green leaf lettuce and my cilantro into my salad bowl, and I give it a really good stir to make sure everything's incorporated well into that salad bowl. Finally, once the pumpkin was cooked to my liking, I added that on top as well, and just like the veggies, I give it a really good stir to make sure everything's incorporated well. Baked pumpkin, steamed veggie, raw salad mix has been definitely my go-to. I absolutely love this. So here's the final result, my medjool dates to start, and then my big veggie amazing salad. This was absolute perfection. I enjoyed it so, so much. So a lot of you love to see my chronometer info. I had 90% carbs, 4% fats, and 6% protein, and I reached over 2,400 calories. However, I do not think this is the correct amount of calories. I think I had a lot more than that. As I said, these baby Thai bananas are more calorically dense. And you can see I hit all of my nutrient targets really well, and I get vitamin D from the sun. If you guys find these videos helpful and inspiring, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.